What's up guys? Dirk here, aka your hometown anomaly, coming back at y'all with another fresh video today. Today is gonna be the big. A lot of you guys have been tearing up my inbox actually, and it's kind of surprising, but a lot of you guys have been hitting my inbox like, you know, Dirk, congrats on 7K. Where's 7K special though? Where the 7K special though? Where the 7K special? 7K special is right here, baby. So thank you guys for the big seven freaking thousand. And as you guys know already, with every milestone video, I'm going to need you guys to tell me what your goals are, tell me what your aspirations are, tell me what recent milestones you hit, let me know what you got going on so we can turn up in the comment section real quick, let me know what you got going on because I'm so excited, not only for myself but I'm excited for everybody else and with this particular milestone video, I went back and I watched all my other milestone videos, 1K through 6K so far and I'm hyped. I'm so hyped, like this time last month, this time, like literally today, you can go back and look at it if you want to, on this day, last month, we were at 4,000 subscribers, now we're at 7,000 subscribers and counting, and this is dope, so, I've, since then, I've been very focused, um, not as focused as I was from 1 to 6K, from 6K to 7K, I've been a little deviant. I've been a bit of a heathen when it comes to like my focus and my whole never not working. Um, check this out, you guys. I took a day off. <laughs> I took a day off. And yeah, I, did, I didn't like it. Like I had to work twice as hard the next day and just it was not even worth it at all. And uh, I've been playing like a lot of video games and like this last, like since the last, you know, milestone video and just doing a lot of things I normally wouldn't do. And while, I mean, that stuff's fun, it's just like, damn, dude, like, I just gotta get my shit together, <laughs> like, like, I know I'm supposed to be working, like, yeah, I can't be preaching never not working, I'm sitting here playing video games and shit, like, but I, I felt like I, I needed to, I felt like that little bit of a break was, it just had to get my brain away from YouTube for, like, just a couple of hours, and uh, it took nine days to go from 5k to 6k and it also took nine days to go from 6k to 7k so I plateaued and honestly I, mean, I really could have did this in like seven days or eight days but I just I had to slow it down just a little bit you know what I mean like and you can't be in fifth gear your whole entire life I feel now, with that being said, got to get y'all hype, because I'm hype. I'm always hype. Um, I, one of the reasons why I always stay so motivated, and one of the reasons why I'm always so, like, dipper-dapper to make these videos and, like, you know, hype everybody up is because I find millions of reasons to inspire myself. Um, <laughs> and it's just, it's, it's validating. Every single day is more validating than the next, you know, every day. On this platform, I feel that you know I'm inching my way towards the, the life that I eventually want to live, and you guys should be doing the same thing if you're serious about becoming a musician one day. So, my question is, what are you doing? Because if you look on my channel, you know exactly what I'm doing. Like, you know, you're not going to get results on any platform without you know putting in the work. And um, at this point, the numbers are starting to speak for themselves a little bit. So. You know, I'm working all day, every day. That, it's just what I'm doing. Um, but what are you guys doing? Because um, I, I get a lot of people that are like, you know, messaging me, you know, say, hey, man, you know, I'm putting in the work, but it's just, I ain't getting no results from it. You know, my, I feel like my videos are good. You know, I feel like I should be up there with some of the big YouTubers, but, you know, nobody gives my videos a chance. Like, what are you doing? Like, that's what I'm going to ask you guys. What are you doing? What have you done? in the last nine days, you know, in the last nine days, I've been working like a fucking retard, <laughs> um, trying to, you know, put out the best work that I can to like cram these songs, put out the best material that I know how to do, so my question to you is, what have you done? Because there's so much more to you know, being a, mu a musician other than the music, I mean, that is less than half of the, like, what musicians have to do to be successful in this platform, I mean, 
you have to do something. I say this in all of my thank you videos now. You have to do something, you have to work, you have to go outside of your, your comfort zone. You have to do something. Do something awesome, do something productive. Like, you can't just sit on your ass and get to your goal. Um, and I hear so many people say that, you know, hey, you know, um, you know, I just can't grow. I've been on YouTube for like a year and I have like 25 subs still. Well, you are what you work for. I mean, if, you gotta look at it this way, you guys. When you post a video, you gotta let people know that you posted a video. When you gotta be tagging people, you gotta be talking to people, you gotta be shooting off some, firing off some text messages to people, you gotta be doing something. Like, it, there's so much hard work and dedication into this. Um, you know, if you're one of the type of people that follow the new trend, like the new trend in songs, then you gotta get right. You gotta get, you gotta get with it. I mean, you just can't post new songs expecting just to pop. I mean, if cause you gotta realize there are thousands of people like the new song by Dale, the new song by Mazer Laser featuring Justin Bieber, and like all these new songs. There are thousands of people within the first 24 hours of these songs releasing that are posting the same video of you. The first page of YouTube only shows 20 people. And it only shows the 20 people that are like popping and booming and blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, literally, I mean, you can post a thousand of the newest, freshest, dopest songs. You're not going to see a real significant change in your subscribers because, I mean, you're not the only one doing that. I mean, you're not the only one. There are literally thousands and millions of people around the world that aspire to be famous mu musicians. So you've got to set yourself away from the pack in some form. That means you've got to do something different in your videos. If that means you have to network in a different type of way, you have to do something different. You can't just fucking post videos and get results. Like it just doesn't really work like that unless you already have a huge following and you can just post whatever. You can post the most bullshit thing ever and still grow on YouTube at that point. But it's getting to that point, which is the hard part. So what are you doing? I will ask you this probably 10 more times in the course of this video, but what are you doing to set yourself away from the pack? Like what are you doing to network? What are you doing to reach out to people? You know what I mean? Like, when you think about other, like, you know, like, famous musicians like Taylor Swift or Ed Sheeran or Usher or Justin Bieber or anybody, if you think about the Beatles, you know, the Beatles actually went years unrecognized. And they, they, the Beatles were one of the biggest, like, musical, like, groups of all time. And they went eight and a half years before they ever got signed to a record. They pursued a record deal for six and a half years and heard no every single time for six and a half years before they ever got a record deal. So what are you doing to set yourself away from the pack? Because posting videos is just not enough. Um, <laughs> like you, you want people to listen to your music, but you're not putting your music out to people to listen to it. Like, just put it on YouTube is not enough. Yeah, there's millions of accounts here on YouTube, but if nobody's listening to your music, how do you expect people to hear your music? So, I mean, think about that logically for a second. So, I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing to get yourself out there? I mean, there's multiple ways of networking. Like, you don't have to be like me and sit at the computer for like 10 to 12 hours a day. Like, you don't have to do that at all. I mean, you can get out in your community and, and you can walk around town with your guitar and if you walk around for just a fucking hour, I'm sure 10 people will stop you and say, oh, hey, you play that thing, man? Hey, girl, you, what you gonna do with that guitar? Oh, you can play me a little something, something? And then bam, you got people that are interested in your music. Just just that simple, it's just walking outside of your house. Go downtown and boost, or, you know, <laughs> boost. And if you're not familiar with that term, street perform. And I mean, you'll get people that'll stop and listen and ask you questions, and bam, you have already broken out and talking to more people than you have doing what you're currently doing now. Eric Thomas said, if you want to shine like a diamond, you have to get, <laughs> if you want to shine like a diamond, you have to get cut like a diamond. If you have this plan on, like this five year plan on, you know, how you're going to be successful, how you're going to achieve your goals, you need to scrap that whole shit and you need to make that a three year plan. You need to make that a two year plan. You need to make that a one year plan. Because I don't know if you guys have the same mentality as I do, but a couple years from now, I'm going to be there. You know I mean, I don't know where there is. I mean, that, that's very vague. That's very cryptic. But I'm going to be there. You know what I mean? Like, tomorrow, I will have more subs than I have today. 
the day after that, I'll have more subs then. A month from now, I'll have more stuff than I do now. You know what I mean? I'm just always growing forward. I will never go backwards. You will never see this channel backpedal. I won't let it happen. I just, the car is in drive. Like, you know, I'm not in neutral. I'm not in reverse. You know what I mean? I'm in drive. Like, this car is in fifth fucking gear. And uh, that's how you've got to be also. I mean, Pharrell, Pharrell Williams said, be yourself. Being yourself is the most... Being yourself is the most beneficial thing that a musician can do for themselves. You have to be yourself, you have to be different, you have to be willing to, you know, break the mold of what is, you know, trending and what's just normal and what's to be expected of you. And you have to be willing to bet on yourself to be able to make it in this this, this industry. I mean, you really have to set yourself apart from everybody else. So what are you doing? There's so much more to it. Um, I just, I find inspiration in just everything. I mean, literally, I have a list of, <laughs> I have a list of YouTubers on my fridge, and I have a list of very undeserving YouTubers that, you know, don't post anything, and they're just really, they're really just shitty people. Um, they, they don't respond back to, like, their fan base, and, like, you know, I've, just, I've, I've been following their channels for a while, and I have a list of, you know, maybe six or seven names on there that <laughs> literally every single time that I, I pass one of them in like subscriber count I cross their name off on the list you know what I mean because you know what I mean like this is what I want this is what I am this is what I am I mean like the the music industry is so competitive and like even if you do it just for like out of the love of music or if you do it like you know to be competitive or to be the best or you just whatever then I mean, the music industry is competitive and you know, like you, you got to if you don't embrace that, you at least have to acknowledge that that is a thing. I mean, if you make it, if you are the number one selling musician in the world, there are millions and millions and millions of people that are trying to like debunk you all the time. There's always someone that's trying to like take your spot. And somewhere at the top, I don't know where it's at, it's somewhere up there, but they gotta make room for me because I'm coming. I'm coming. I swear to God, I'm coming, and that's the same way that you got to think about it too. Um, I mean, I've been in Columbus for two months now, and I think I may have went out three times in two months. Everything outside of that has been working on my music, it's been working on my networking, it's been just putting myself towards the life that I truly want to live, and I'm gonna get there because we're grinding. I mean, I'm never not freaking working so again I'll ask you what are you doing <laughs> like what are you doing like don't make excuses for yourselves like you'll hear me say a lot of things in these thank you videos and you'll hear me say a lot of shit but you'll never hear me make excuses because I don't believe in that I don't believe in that like if I say something here on camera then I'm gonna get it like in the last thank you video I said that on my birthday August 19th that I was gonna get 10k subscribers and when I wake up on August 19th we're gonna be at 10k, 10k subscribers. I don't care what it takes. Like I'll stay up for three days straight if I have to. If like if, I, if I'm falling behind my goal, like I just am goal oriented, and I'm just gonna smash these goals out. And it's cool because not only do I love what I do, but I feel like I'm very good at what I do. Like, and then I mean, that's just that's what it starts. I mean, Steve Harvey said, if you want to be a millionaire, then don't concern yourself about a million dollar idea. Start with a ten dollar idea. Be good enough at something to where someone will pay you ten dollars to do it and then do it ten times and you have a hundred bucks. And multiply your effort. Multiply that by ten, you have a thousand bucks. Then we have a thousand bucks. Invest into things that will facilitate the process easier. Do that ten more times. You have ten thousand bucks. And then just you multiply that effort and hire some people. And then multiply that effort. And then bam, you have a hundred thousand dollars. And when you have a hundred thousand dollars, you are one step away from being a millionaire. And it's just it's just you have to multiply that effort. So don't press yourself. Like don't be a victim of paralysis by analysis and just. You know, say, oh, you know, hey, what's the next vi big video? Like, what can I post that's gonna go viral? I know, fuck that. Like, don't worry about trying to get a million, <laughs> a million view video. Like, just get your ten, get your ten, and then when you get your ten, then turn like work ten times as hard and get that one hundred. Then when you get that one hundred, 
read a book, study something, watch a video on how to grow your channel or something, and then, you know, turn that 100 into 1,000 and just do it. I mean, like, it is a long road. And Steve Harvey also said, the pathway to success is always under construction. It is never a one-stop shop. It is never just a straight shot. You know, you got to pull up for gas. There's going to be construction on the road. There's going to be detours. There's going to be men working. There's going to be speed traps. There's going to be cops. You know, there's going to be all kinds of things that are going to impede the process of getting there. I mean, the most successful people in the world have failed more than any unsuccessful person could ever imagine to. I mean, people that uh, that you, mean you look up to here on YouTube and people that I look up to here on YouTube, I promise you have gotten more hate. They have gotten more, you know, negative comments. They have, you know, just fell flat on their face many more times than you or I have. So you've got to stay focused. And I mean, literally when I tell you guys that I, I find 125 different reasons to get inspired and stay motivated every single day, I really do. I mean, whether it's just, you know, one comment that says, you know, hey dude, it's awesome, like this made me smile, you know, I always come to your channel, you know, to listen to my mood. Bam, my day's been made. If it's <laughs> if it's, you know, just anything. Like if I comment on somebody else's video and they say that and you know, hey, you know, thank you for this comment, you know, you made my day. Bam, my day's a little bit better. My day's been brightened up a little bit. Um, if I wake up and, you know, I'm not, you know, hospitalized, then bam, then, we, you know, we got something to celebrate for. You know, just everything is a reason to celebrate. I mean, if I go to someone's channel and, like, I check their subscribers and I see them that they're subscribed to people that I look up to musically on this platform, like um, Mackenzie Johnson or Andy Lee or Leroy Sanchez or Alex, I don't know, like, these are people that I like straight fanboy over. And, you know, if I see my face along theirs in their, like, the list of people that they're subscribed to, what, that is validating. Like, do you not understand how powerful that is? Like, literally, you were in the same spot as the people that you look up to in someone's subscriber list. You know, if you just think about it that way. You know what I mean? Like, that's validating for me. Like, that is my mental way of saying, you know, hey, you know, I might not be where they are right now, but this is, like, me mentally solidifying my spot in their position and maybe even one day beyond where they are now. So you just gotta look at it that way. I mean, you've gotta just think outside the box a little bit. You just gotta stay focused. You gotta stay, you gotta stay awesome. Stay awesome, stay productive, stay hungry. Stay, you gotta stay grinding because it is not easy. I mean, I've been on YouTube for, God, one year in two months now and I've not made a penny yet like I, I'm not even halfway to the threshold of what you need to even get like you know a deposit from YouTube and it doesn't really matter because like I'm focused you know what I mean like I got 10,000 other things to, to, to worry about other than you know just like money I had someone on my like friends list on Facebook message me the other day she's like you know hey you know are you making money off of YouTube and I'm like no <laughs> why then she's like oh you know I start I was thinking about making videos you know um and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to make a couple hundred. I'm like, yo. <laughs> I, I read that message and I immediately got pissed, pissed off. You know what I mean? Like, because you, you shouldn't make videos for that reason. You should just make videos because you love posting videos. Like, literally, I mean, you'll burn out. Like, if you're trying to make a career out of YouTube, I'm not saying that you can't. And I'm not saying that's not what you should aspire to at some point. But that should not be the only reason you do it. Because... If you're posting videos, you know, trying to make like buku bucks, and you're trying to make some like legitimate cheddar here off YouTube, I mean, you might as well just go ahead and deactivate your account because it, unless you just have a video that pops for no reason, if you just hit the YouTube lottery and your your video goes viral or something, then I mean, honestly, you can probably not look forward to like making a single penny off of this platform for a very long time. I mean, like the CPM and RPM like conversion rates, it's generally. 100,000 views you have to accumulate to even receive a hundred dollars off of this platform <laughs> you know and is a lot of people aren't doing that like a lot of people aren't starting fresh off of YouTube and just doing that in the first month or the first two months or the first six months or the first eight months or the first year or the first two years like that takes a really long time and you've got to be consistent like you know you've got to consistently post videos you've got to consistently you know be reaching out in your community you've got to consistently be reaching back out to people and you know kind of reaching 
out to people that you know kind of started watching your videos and were you know riding with you for a little bit and then kind of forgot about you a little bit you got to kind of reach back out to those people and you just got to constantly be working at something that's why networking is so important i mean literally i mean 10 percent of my effort is towards the music everything else is just broadening my my audience you know what i mean because i understand that if you want to be successful on this platform you can't just post videos and expect people to just watch them it just doesn't work like that if you have 50 subscribers and you post two videos a week and you don't network then you still only have like 50 people listen to your videos i mean like it'll grow eventually if you keep posting videos yeah but it won't grow nearly as quickly as if you actually go out and say hey yo listen to my music like that's what i do like hey yo listen to my music like give it a chance you know what i mean and it's just like you have to kind of be like that annoying guy in the Walmart parking lot about it. <laughs> I mean, literally the guy that stops you, like, hey, you know, yo, bro, like, you know, I'm from Houston. Uh, this is my mixtape. It's fire, bro. Like, you you got to adopt that same annoying ass mentality to get somewhere. Like, you got to kind of put your shit in people's faces, or else they won't pay attention to it. And you know, it's just like you know, it's a double edged sword because you can do that, and you can. You're putting yourself out there so I mean that's a scary thing to do anyway but the thing about it is people are gonna listen to your work and Elliot Hulse said this putting yourself out there is the scariest thing in the world because the moment you put yourself out there people will either adore or attack what you do they're either gonna love it or they're gonna hate it or they're gonna be indifferent to it and if they're indifferent to it then they might as well just hate it because they're not you're not getting anything good from it they will either adore it or attack it and that's a scary thing like you know to put three four hours of just hard work and just you know just failing on you know getting the right take on something and to have someone say oh this was just okay or you know uh this wasn't really good um you know why do people listen to this uh you know this is like the worst cover you know that that's some hurtful shit when you know that you put like your best effort into something and like you know someone just you know completely negates all the hard work and energy that you put into something just to say oh this is okay um it's not the best cover of this song that i heard but you know what and whatever like you know it's gonna happen like if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing if you want like the pathway to success to be in a you know you know popular channel or a popular musician then you got to put yourself out there and like not everybody's gonna love it i mean <laughs> In my last video, I said that there are people that listen to Michael Jackson sing his own songs that thumbs down it, but they listen to a fucking 11 year old kid that sings out of tune with some motherfucking like T Pain auto tune type shit in their videos. They'll say that that is 10 times better than anything Michael Jackson's ever done in his career. So you just gotta realize that there's people out there that are not gonna love what you do. There's gonna be people that are gonna like, you know, try to sell you short of your dreams. There are gonna be people that will tell you that you cannot do it, and you can do it, but it starts with you. I mean, the only thing keeping you from being successful on this platform is you. That is it. I mean, you can't blame it on, you know, oh, hey, well, um, you know, I just don't have the time to make videos. Or, you know, hey, you know, I just, I can't get people to watch my videos, bro. Or, like, you know, people aren't interested in my videos. My videos aren't good. Like, all that shit starts with you. Like, if your videos aren't good, then that's your fault. There's nobody else's fault that your videos aren't good. Like, it's nobody else's fault that you don't have a better camera. Like, I, I've been telling myself for a couple months I'm getting a new camera, but I'm still recording on my old one. But I can't blame that on anybody else other than me. Like, um, if you know, if you have a thousand subscribers and your videos only get ten views, then that's nobody else's fault except for your own. Like, you know, if you're paying, you know, for Facebook advertisements, you know, fifty bucks for fa Facebook advertisements, and like you're only getting like fifty subs from that, then that's your fault because there's a way to do it, and there's a way to do it without spending a dime. But you've got to be willing to do it. I mean, like, if you didn't get the shout out that you think you deserved and that's your fault for even thinking that you deserve a shout out in the first place like you can't blame this shit on anybody else like it's just you are responsible for everything that happens to yourself like nobody else can you can't like you can't say you know hey you, my mama didn't share my, my videos so I, I didn't get all i didn't get those like, extra 30 views like no like <laughs> what like you have to be responsible for your own self. Like everything that happens good and everything that happens bad, every success and every fulfill every success and every failure here on this platform is your responsibility. And like the amount of like subscribers that you have now, or the amount of views that you get now, or the amount of love that you get on your channel now, or the amount of hate that you get on your channel is completely dependent on you. Like that is nobody else's responsibility. Um 
Man, there's people that are just focused on all the wrong things here on this platform and it just it infuriates me like I watched a video of uh, someone who at one point in time was a competitor of mine like like four or five months ago she had I think 1500 more subscribers than I do and now four or five months later I have like four thousand more subscribers than she does now and uh, I watched her make a video I'm not gonna say any names but I watched her make a video. She's sitting at like 2.5k now or something like that. She made a video about why she was so absent. She was like, hey, you know, I've been working on some projects, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's legitimate. And then she was like, okay, you know, well, you know, I've been absent and, you know, I've been working on some music and I have some good things coming up for you guys. Um, and hey, before the video ends, you know, um, I was thinking, you know, we're at like, you know, two, 2.5 thousand subscribers. You know, we need to start thinking about like a, a fandom name, you know, like Justin Bieber's got the Leavers. And you know, um, uh, Demi Lovato has got Lovatics, or you know, what the fuck ever they're called. And you know, Hometown Nom has got a Nom. You know? <laughs> and like, legitimately, she was saying that you know, uh, you know, we're at 2.5 thousand subscribers. You know, we need to start thinking about a fan base. Like, no, what the, bro, what, what? Like, no, dog. Like, get the fuck out of here with that. Like, you don't need to be thinking about any type of shit like that. Like, you know. Like until you're in a comfortable position in your like your 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 progress or your YouTube channel and like your music career, you don't need to be thinking about like motherfucking fandoms. You don't need to be thinking about money. You don't need to be thinking about anything. Like you just need to be thinking about that ten dollar idea, that ten view idea. Like what can you do to get ten views on this platform? What can you do to get them ten subscribers real quick? That's the only thing you need to be thinking about. And you you gotta realize that. You've got to be honest with yourself. Like, be fucking honest with yourself. Like, would you pay yourself a thousand dollars to watch you perform for three hours? Probably not. Like, I wouldn't even pay myself a thousand dollars to see myself play for three hours right now at this point. Like, I feel like I'm worth a couple hundred dollars, you know, to, to perform live somewhere, but I'm not worth a thousand dollars right now. And you've just got to be honest with yourself. One day I will be worth it. One day I will be worth it subscribers. One day I will be at that point where I want to be. But right now it's not. And you know, like, you've got to not only believe in yourself and be yourself, but you've got to, you gotta implement it, you gotta use it, you gotta do something with it. You can't just fucking sit on your ass and just do all this other irrelevant shit and say that you want to be successful. Like, okay, you got an EP out, you got a couple original songs out, okay, that's cool, but what are you doing with it? Like, you're, you're saying that you're trying, but you're not doing anything with it. Like, where are the results from it? Like, you can't put in 10 hours a day and get absolutely no results from it. Like, even if you get bad results from it, those are still better than no results. Like, just because you got an EP out doesn't mean shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That means fucking nothing. Like, just because you you made an EP and then you sent it out to three labels, like, you can't say that you're trying. Like, no, the fuck you're not. Like, if you were trying, then you would have sent it to every fucking label or every, like, record company that you know. So, like, stop trying to justify, like, you being lazy as you trying because you're not and like for people that are really doing this shit we know that so what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> like if you're watching this video now like if you are about to you know you know pop in like friends season seven then fuck that no the fuck you're not because you said that you're gonna get serious about your channel yesterday last week you said it. last month you said it and you're doing the same old tired shit that you've been doing and fuck that that that's not how you do it that's not what we do here on this like ambitious people don't do that people with dreams and goals and people that actively chase them and people that are hungry for the grind don't fucking do that like you just gotta do it you gotta just do fucking something like don't put that bullshit off on anybody else as to why you're not successful other than yourself so what are you doing <clears throat> what are you doing <laughs> and it's just you know this is how I think you know what I mean like if I like if I sleep yo I did not even realize that I've been talking for like 30 fucking minutes <laughs> I gotta really I gotta really wrap this up I've never even done a video this long but like I was saying, um, if I sleep in, literally I will look at myself and while I'm laying in bed, I'm like, yo, Dirk, 
what are you doing? <laughs> like, the same shit that I'm sitting here preaching to you guys, like, I, I tell myself this same shit every single day. I tell myself, like, what am I doing different? Like, what am I doing? Like, am I working for it or am I just trying to, like, you know, coast and make excuses for it? So, be a winner. Like, if you if you develop that culture of losing and if you develop that culture of making excuses for yourself, then you will just never actually get it. You will never actually do anything with it. And you've got to get out of that. That is so unproductive. Like that that culture of losing will get you nowhere in the world. I mean you'll be doing the same shitty job that you do. So I mean saying, you know, yo, like you got to just get with it. You've got to stop making excuses and you just gotta like own up to what your every single success and every single failure, you gotta just own it. You gotta embrace that shit, dude. Like it's as simple as that. I mean really don't know any other way to put it um you know if you got a girlfriend or if you if you got church on wednesday or just whatever you got like th those aren't, aren't legitimate excuses like you can't say that you don't have time for it. you have time for everything else that you do i mean if you work one job two jobs three jobs you can still make time for if it, youtube was a pr priority of yours and if music was a priority of yours you would just fucking do it like okay you know oh, well i work full-time job so i don't have time to do these videos like fucking we all have full-time jobs like motherfucking i work eight shifts a week but i still make time for these videos like I, there's often times that i give up shifts to my, my co-workers like i lose out on money just to make videos just to put myself in a better situation than i was yesterday because i know that that is what my priority is so you got to look at yourself and say, what is your priority? And if it's not music, then just be honest with yourself and say, fuck it. Then music's not my priority. I just, I want to work at Lowe's for the rest of my life. Or, you know, I'm satisfied with going to college and, you know, having a nine-to-five desk job that I fucking hate for the next 40 years of my life. So just do that. I mean, on average, the average human lives for 700,000 hours and nothing more than that. <laughs> the average human being, 700,000 hours. You only have 700,000 hours of life. So why would you even waste one, one second on doing anything that doesn't make you happy? I mean, why would you waste one second in a relationship that doesn't make you happy? Why would you waste even one portion of your day on something that does not make you happy? That's how you have to think to be successful. So find something that you love. Find that $10, that 10 view, that 10 subscriber idea, and do it. Multiply your effort and chase your dream until the very day you die. Like, spend the rest of your natural born life chasing something that you love doing. And I promise you'll find success in it. But it's not until you adopt this way of thinking that you'll find success in this platform. I mean, there's people on this platform that get way more subscribers than me that do way less work. <laughs> and... Like, they, they, their videos get 20,000 views, but I will be more successful than them because I have more drive. That drive, that dedication, that determination, that diligence of your time, that is just use, that is so useful. That is the most critical tool of anything. I mean, it doesn't matter how naturally talented you are, how well you sing, or how well you play guitar, or you know, how funny you are, what your personality is like. All that shit doesn't really fucking matter. It's about the work. I mean... People might get more subscribers than me, but they will never fucking outwork me. I refuse to be outworked by anybody here on this platform. It's just, it will not happen. And you've got to think the same way. I've been talking for way too long. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up. My name's Dirk. Yo, hometown anomaly. And until next time, we's out here, baby. I will see you guys in seven. Seven days. I will see you guys in seven days with an 8K video. Oh, God, you can bet on that because I'm saying that here on camera. Until next time, do something awesome. Catch you guys later. <laughs>